In this video, we'll be taking a look at face tracking with an open MV cam. Hi there and welcome! I'm Glenn from Glevotech. Glevotech is a platform for DIY robotics and related stuff. If you are interested in robots and technology, certainly don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to make sure you don't miss out on anything. The OpenMV Cam H7 is a small programmable microcontroller board with a camera. The board allows you to use machine vision algorithms which can be used for various applications. It features a number of input and output pins to connect to other electronics. This makes it ideal to combine with an Arduino project for example. The board is to be programmed in Python. I've never used Python before, but it's a pretty straightforward programming language to learn. In a few hours I was good to start fiddling around with it. The IDE is clear and has quite a few examples. One I was particularly interested in is face detection. Similar to how a smartphone camera recognizes facial features, this program finds a face and draws a square around it. I wanted to use this to make a face following camera using a pan-tilt system moved by servos and controlled by an Arduino. The face detection code draws a square box over the face. I found it uses an X and Y coordinate for the upper left corner together with width and height of the box. Since it is a square, the height and width are the same, so I only needed three values to know where the face is. I had to find a way to send these to an Arduino. Luckily, the OpenMV IDE provides example codes for communication with Arduino. I chose for I2C. Combining that code with the face detection example, it was quite easy to make it work. Once I got the information into the Arduino, I could calculate the face center by taking half of the width plus the X coordinate and half of the height plus the Y coordinate. Then I found at which coordinates the face is in the middle of the screen. And then I wrote some code to drive the servos to the correct side to try to keep the face in the middle. It actually worked a lot better than I initially expected. It follows smoothly in both X and Y direction. Boards like these make AI technology more accessible to makers and DIY enthusiasts. And of course, it is perfect for robotics. These are definitely things I will be playing around with more in the future. And I can imagine they will only get better with time. There are more similar boards like these as well. I'm not sponsored or affiliated with OpenMV, but I chose their board because it is fully programmable as opposed to some of their competitors and it provides a great number of standard features. I hope you enjoyed this video. Further, any questions or comments or requests are greatly appreciated, so don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.